Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to check SQL Server uh, past uh, CPU consumption. Okay, while de uh, dealing CPU uh, high issues in SQL Server in your day uh, DBA life. Okay, you will come into situation that uh, you will uh, get a ticket like uh, from last two and a half hours the CPU 90% threshold has been reached constantly for five times. You will get ticket like this. Okay, at that time, uh, so the first thing we need to confirm that either the uh, consumption is happened, the threshold has been reached by the SQL Server or not, and how we present this information to the client. This is the one of the major steps in while dealing the CPU issues. Okay, and remaining the how we need to troubleshoot and how we need to forward and how to we send that email well that will I will send that whole video in another video but uh, in this for this video I will concentrate how to check the sequence of our past history and um, it was how to present them to the client okay so uh, to check the past history all the CPU uh, past uh, is recorded uh, is stored in the ring buffers so if you see this 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 is going that total history information is going to save into this DM okay this ring buffer DM is we can get this so I got this script from this website so you can download this script okay and um, once it's good so this scripts will bring you okay from la what is the consumption of last uh, 120 minutes okay so here sorry now it is configured as 10 now I want to configure 120 okay execute okay so if you want to uh, uh, want to for three hours check uh, mention like 180 it add into series so now I want to uh, see for 30 minutes so you will get this kind of error so it means here we have declared our last at the end of last minute in end so now we need to change that into begin okay so my alert is for 120 minutes from last two and a half minutes right so i will set as a 150 click execute what is that error so let's change that uh, Tenant. Oh, sorry. Here we need to say it as a begin, right? Uh, I spell mistake. Okay. Execute. I want to check for two and a half One dot. Yeah. Execute. Now, how we need to present this information? See, uh, from last one and a half, the SQL Server is utilizing only zero percent. And system ideal process is utilizing 52% and other processor is using 48%. Total consumption is 100%, which is caused by the system and other process. So by the other process uh, CPU means by third party, like maybe antivirus or some other backup tools which are installed at that mission. And this was happened at uh, 219, 229. So this is how you need to. Uh, filter you need to come to one conclusion either the breach was happened by SQL server or by any other process so we have information but we need to present in a beautiful way that the client should understand I will show you how to do that okay open your excel sheet So first copy all these uh, value, headers into Excel sheet. Now go open your SSMS and select uh, event time, copy, come to here, paste it. Now click on uh, format uh, cells, format cells, custom, here hours means AM, PM. Okay, now 
protest SMS. Now copy the SQL Server utilization. Copy. Yeah. So do the same for other system module processor. Copy. Copy of another processor. No, I need some color. Okay, so now we have that. Now, what we need to do, we need to select, we need to select all these data and we need to click on insert. So we have a graphs column, right? So we need to click on that. I'm adjusting. So I'm using uh, SQL Server 2007 uh, uh, actual sheet. So that's why I don't have any updated graphics and uh, updated uh, themes. So once you design like this, okay, like you need to uh, write like a CPU consumption for the last uh, one fifty minutes on the SQL Server. Okay, now you can see that uh, what is the SQL Server utilization? There is, uh, if you see this, uh, the SQL Server process will be as a zero uh, here. So zero, we cannot see that. Other process, see that uh, here we have having uh, sixty-seven percent. So like this, what are the information we have that we need to present in the beautiful way where the client can understand in an easy manner. So now you need to take that screenshot and you need to confirm that. Hello customer, and we got a P2 alert or P1 alert for the CPU threshold breach. However, we have verified uh, the past history consumption uh, that uh, SQL Server is utilizing the is running with minimum workload, and the consumption is happened uh, with the other CPU utilization and other uh, system model process. Uh, please in look into or involve concern team uh, to look into this okay this is one of the uh, way uh, way we can we have to deal with the cpu i hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video click uh, like button and uh, share your comment as well why because when your comment will push uh, us to make more videos like this thank you